Hi, this is Simon Phillips. This is I Love Networking. So, how do you think networking is going to change over the next 10 years? We'll probably all have robots as a <laughs> network for us. <laughs> um, I actually think it'll, it will start to come away from online and go back to face to face. Okay. Personally, I hope so anyway. I think the brain re rewires itself if, if there's not the eye to eye connection with people. Hmm. So I would like, and this is Vanda's positive projection rather than maybe what will necessarily happen, but what I would like to see is that it actually makes a resurgent, that human skills of listening and communication and caring and wanting to know about your fellows would actually come further to the surface because so much is being able to be done electronically that we don't need to bother with that so much and we can actually spend more time with each other. I first got into networking really seriously with some of the offline networking groups like BNI uh, when I first set up my business. Um, and then it was all very much face to face and then online and, and Facebook and LinkedIn and all of these things have come along. And now they're adapting and developing and they're changing all the time and I think What's the common thing to this is, is the humanity piece and the fact that underneath it all there's a relatively small group of people mm. that we know really well and that we work with closely, in, not work with in the sense of doing business with, but as, an, mm. as our network. Um, and I, think, I don't think that is going to change. What I think is going to change is the reach that those people can have for you. Mm. And, and that by nurturing a small group you'll be able to reach a much larger big group. I don't know, I think people want more from networking groups, this is my theory, so, you know, just um, referring business these days is, is not the only reason people network, I think there's a, a greater need for support and um, input into their business, so, mm. you know, some sort of training or something like that, so I, I, think, I think networking groups need to change from referral based to more business support based. I think we've, we've moved, probably in the last year, we've moved away from transaction based more in, more towards relationship based okay. which has always been the theory mm. of networking but I think we're actually starting to see it happen. But I think where people's networking is going to focus is going to be on actually creating collaborative businesses because yeah. I think that we're now moving into the age of collaboration mm -hmm. where people aren't going to be looking to get jobs with companies they're going to be looking to get jobs with businesses and those businesses may have three, four, five different companies involved in making that business actually happen. You will have uh, people who are millennial generation, so they were born around the millennium, have come through school, who have had social networks as you know, a, a second skin. Everyone they went to primary school with, secondary school with, they go to university with, their first job, their second job, their third, their travels, their social life, they potentially stay with them for the rest of their life. Mm. And they stay in sight, in mind so they remember them and they know who they are, which means they come into the workplace with the biggest contact books you have ever seen. Mm. And they have a level of relationships with all of those people much deeper than you or I would if we got back in touch with our old school friends. Yeah. So that's gonna be the biggest shift, absolute biggest shift. You know, the older people among us, I was gonna use a different term there, <laughs> but the older people among us are gonna be competing with people who are infinitely more connected than we can ever expect to be. Mm. Definitely, so that's a challenge.